The administration is closing a so-called gun show loophole, putting in place new requirements for expanded background checks. CBS 13's Brad Rogers looks at what this and a main bill pushing for longer waiting periods to buy guns could mean for gun shows here in Maine. The Biden administration rule to expand background checks comes from the bipartisan Safe Communities Act Congress passed two years ago. If you're in this business of buying and reselling guns, well, then you need to get a license and you need to be running background checks. The White House Office of Gun Violence Prevention says with the exception of private gun collectors and guns gifted to family members, background checks will now be required for all online and private sales, including gun shows. It does not go as far as the governor's proposal um, to expand background checks to all advertised sales, but it's, it's, it is a step in the right direction. It's hard to get around how easy it is to sidestep uh, uh, those background check requirements. Right now, sellers at gun shows in Maine are already required to perform background checks, so this new rule would have little or no impact on them. So really what they're banning is somebody coming to the show without anyone's knowledge and trying to sell a gun in, say, in the parking lot. David Trahan, director of the Sportsman's Alliance of Maine, says a state bill not yet voted on is a much greater threat to gun shows. I tell you what would have more of an impact, a three-day waiting period would put an end to gun shows in Maine. The goal of the 72-hour wait is to allow a cooling-off period for a potentially enraged gun buyer. But Republican Senator Eric Brakey says that waiting period would also apply to a woman being targeted or stalked. Are we really going to tell her that she has to wait 72 hours in order to be able to have the means to defend herself? Women, when victims of domestic violence are in danger, um, they are five times more likely to be shot if there is a gun in the home, no matter who it belongs to. Biden's director of gun violence prevention says additional safety measures will help prevent shootings, even though the Lewiston gunman did go through a background check to buy his guns. The State House, Brad Rogers, CBS 13 News.